Hello and welcome. My name is Ulrich van Merweg. I am responsible for the SAP data management team at ARAC and therefore responsible for the analytics solution around SAP. In the following slides, I will show you what we at ARAC have developed together with SAP and what possible application scenarios we see for the data sphere in the future. First of all, I would like to briefly introduce ARAC and why it's one of the top companies for me. More than 85 years ago, our founder believed in giving everyone access to justice. It should be possible for every person to fight for their rights and not just a privilege of those who could afford it. So the ARAC legal insurance was born. Today, the ARAC not only has one excellent legal insurance product, it also offers many other quality insurance products. ARAC is represented in 19 countries, giving more and more people access to justice. This principle of justice is still an integral part of the ARAC today. And as a 100% family-owned enterprise, the ARAC company is independent from short-term capital market influences. And so we were free to make our own decisions with focus on our customers. For me, these are not just strains on the paper, because since my time at ARAC, I have felt that I have become part of a family. And in a family, people naturally support each other. So what was the deciding factor for our proof of concept? Let me show you. As you can see on this picture, we, like many others, I think, have to deal with a lot of excellists in some department. In our case, we are talking definitely about financial data. A lot of logic in very big files quickly destroys the advantage of the freedom of Excel. If an Excel reaches a certain complexity, troubleshooting is very time consuming. Even though many different sources can find their way into the reporting, this is also usually associated with many data redundancies. For example, a file is copied across several servers, handled in Excel and further processed. We wanted to offer an alternative way to this system. For this purpose, we were able to win the Spanish ARAC as a partner for our proof of concept. Together we looked at how we could offer countries an analytic solution that doesn't look like this picture. So how we get started? After our consultant from DMA Solutions suggested Datasphere as a possible solution, he put us in touch with the SAP. Together with our Spanish partner, we worked out the POC and presented it. This mainly included three points. First, can we easily connect local data from a database in one country and share it with the other country without a file across servers? Secondly, can we process the shared data and enrich it with local data in the country of destination? Thirdly, is it possible to design the access via a front-end like SAC in such a way that local and shared data can be displayed in a pleasant way? In order to clarify these questions, I would likely to briefly show you how Datasphere is currently being integrated in our company. We already use SAC as a cloud tool and Datasphere will be added as a second tool. Our BW system in Germany is still a BW on HANA system, which we will certainly have to change soon. This is connected to the SAC via a live connection. And we very much appreciate at this point because the authorization of the BW system is passed up to the SAC. Unfortunately, this advantage is lost when using the data sphere, but we get some more features. We also use analytics for Office, the SAC edition. And as you can see on the slide, our ERP is directly connected to the BW as well as various other data sources. If a country currently provides us data, it is usually in the form of a file that is processed by the BW system. The data sphere now represents a central point in our construct, where our BW in Germany receives a separate space as well as our partner Spain. Spain, by the way, has connected a non-SAP system to its space and it worked very well. By connecting the BW system from Germany, we now automatically have all data sources from the BW available in the data sphere as well if we want to. We like the fact that the spaces are private. This means that each participant in the data sphere has control over the data he or she wants to share with others. And each space had the possibility to manage its own sources. 
This makes the construct interesting for countries that do not have yet a business warehouse. The countries can easily participate in the SAP ecosystems. This enables us to handle our first test case without any problems. We processed the necessary financial data from Germany and shared it via a view with Spain. Spain could after that enrich this view with local data on their side and this meant that the second test case was also successfully handled. All that remained was to test whether a front-end could process our results in an appealing way. If we remember the slide with the Excel picture before, the process of processing in a front-end felt a little bit different now than before. Setting up the SAC was done with just a few clicks. After that, the data of the relevant space could be processed from the data sphere. Everything was possible without us having to send or save files. Everything worked totally virtually. And not only was this possible with the SAP Analytics Cloud, we were also able to connect another front end without any major challenges. The possibility of self-service for both data processing and reporting convinced us. And so we decided to go with the data sphere at Arak. In the next slide, I would like you to shortly show the possibilities that the data sphere will open up for us in the future. Looking into the future of the SAP product, we see a strong shift to the cloud. It's the same at Arak. Both our ERP and BW system will no longer be an on-premise solution in the future. With DataSphere can play a significant role in organizing data and distributing it within the company. For example, the individual departments can design their reporting via the SAC with access to all data of all participants shared via the data sphere. We also see the possibility of serving requests from a data scientist via the data sphere in the future. We have already successfully connected a front end like PyCharm to the data sphere. And countries that do not use the SAC can also benefit from the data sphere and connect their front end. And in the vision of the future, most systems can get a place in the data sphere. Not only the different countries, also the new S4 system in my opinion. And with the S4 system in this ecosystem, we can offer all the other analytics products directly to the operational data. So we will have more options in the future to serve our incoming requests. In my eyes, Datasphere can make a big contribution to the consolidation of the various systems in a company. I'm looking forward to seeing what SAP will develop in the future, especially the integration of data intelligence functionalities. And looking back, I can say that the Datasphere has opened up many possibilities for us that we had not considered at the beginning. It supports us on the path of a digital transformation and helped us to offer international countries to offer our analytics products. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention and I wish you many more insights on the SAP TechEd. Thank you.